you are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Jordy Oliver Ochoa Arriaga. The cases are real. The people are real. In his courtroom, he's the boss. If you think you're right, you're wrong. We're here for the trial of Adam versus Sentence for the charge of dress code violation. Since Adam is the plaintiff, you may state your case. Okay. So, case, judge, my case is very simple. The rule clearly states that you have to have a sweatshirt or what sweatshirt, excuse me, of a specific college that you have been accepted to. Mr. Hens is wearing a sweatshirt that says college. Not a specific college, just college. Case clear. He gets attention. Can I leave now, please? Is that your case? Honorable Judge Jordy, um, as the rule states, seniors are allowed to wear sweatshirts of colleges they have been accepted to. And I have been accepted to college. Therefore, I should be allowed to wear a college sweatshirt. Mr. Adams, do you got anything else you want to say? Okay, Judge, if I can, I'd like to respond to what Matthew just said. He said that, yes, he's been accepted to colleges, and that's why I can wear that shirt, right? Well, my question is this. The rule states specific college, colleges, excuse me. There is no college that is just named college. It's not a thing. Show me his acceptance letter. Doesn't work. Wrong. If there was no institution just named college, why would I have a sweatshirt saying it? No. No. See, specifically, like this, going into specifics, college is not a thing. There is a Marion College, a Marion University, an Ohio State University. There is no institution that is just named college. He's wrong. <clears throat> I think I heard enough. Matthew, you're free to go. Adam's 10 years. What? You're, you're kidding, right? Nope. 20 years talking you're about it. You're kidding, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> We're here for the case of Aguardo versus Cruz. Cruz, Dude. please put your darn feet down and sit up straight, please. Eduardo, since you are the plaintiff, you may state your case. Your Honor, if I'm paying $50 for an essay, I expect it to be an A, not a D. I got, I got it handed back to me with a bunch of red ink, misspelling, miscapitalization. My name was spelled wrong. There was no title. And I even paid $40 so it, extra so it'd be up to standard with. Uh, so, so you paid $50 just to get an F? No, I got a D. Your Honor, the fine print clearly states that I'm not responsible for any final grade that he receives. And I agree with you. Jared, fifty dollars just to get a D? And you spelled your name wrong? Did he even look at the paper before you even covered it? Well I mean no, but I expected it to be an A, because if I pay fifty bucks it's, it's supposed to be good, no? The real fraud is that you pay fifty dollars and you got a D. What assignment was this for? It was the English essay. The one about our careers or something. Oh. I pay fifty dollars and I got an A. What are you doing? <laughs> In the case of Aguardo and Cruz, I hereby send this to you, Jared. By flogging by sock. Wait, wait, why? why no, did, no, no, no. You, you did it too. No, no, no. This ain't about me. This is about you. I sent it to you by flogging by sock. Do you have male pattern baldness? Does it make you sad? Do you wish you had friends? Well, we have a solution for you Zimpathia. Let's go to our scientist and hear all about it. Here at Real Science Incorporated, we've put our best scientists on to tackling the task that plagues 89% of Americans and 99% of sheep. Of course, I'm talking about male pattern baldness. To make our miracle jug zithromycin, we've used both math and science, as well as engineering and technology. All four of these come together to make our miracle jug Xerolax. Hey, you look like you're balding. <laughs> All right, yeah, maybe a I little. Think you need to pop it. Try it. All right, I'll give it a Tell shot. Tell me how it goes. All right, I will, I will. Whoa! It works. Try Zoempic today. Symptoms may include dizziness, nausea, headache, numbness, weight gain, weight loss, hospitalization, permanent damage, cognitive abnormalities, frog lips, unusual skin pigmentation, change in behavior, aggression, impacts on sleep. Memory loss, loss of appetite, diarrhea, migraine, dry mouth, drowsiness, growth of tail, constipation, paranoia, hallucinations, addiction, impulsiveness, loss of self-control, pregnancy, and death. We're here today to 
today for the trial of Rojas and Kraus versus Slay Queen Yayas. Since Rojas and Kraus are the plaintiff, you gentlemen may stay your case. Your Honor, we were on our way to lunch yesterday about to enjoy some delicious Alfredo when these two students stole our table. Your Honor, the table was empty when we got there. They were nowhere inside. We put our stuff down first. Your Honor, we're there every single lunch period. They've seen us sitting there before. They know that's our table. It's our table. Our table. Your name was Norman. How do you know? Did you look? Did you search the entire table? I did! I wrote my name on the bottom of the chair. He's lying. Yeah. He's lying. We can go check it right now. Okay, let's go. All right. Let's go then. Get up. I almost leave you my courtroom until I dismiss you guys. Man, this judge is really irritating me. Yeah, you, you should go do something about it. Pardon me, what'd you say? I'll show you what I said. I hereby sentence Max and Christian life without parole.